What's going on everybody? This is Captain Obvious, or Cap for short, and welcome back to another Minecraft Infiniverse episode. Okay, it's a beautiful rainy day <laughs> here in Darkwatch. Uh, we got our newest house. Let's see, we got, you know, oh, I ended up adding, let me show you what I did. First of all, one of the pigs escaped. I don't know how. I think because I had him over here, uh, the lead must have broke, so he left. So I had to go get another pig. Uh, luckily, after I walked back and forth a few times, one spawned over here. Um, I ended up, as you can see, I added a lot more uh, of the weeds over here. Now, we're going to end up building stuff anyway, so I'm going to break a lot of them. But I really like the way it looks. I really do. I don't think it's too much. Uh, mainly because, like I said, we're going to be building a windmill over here. Uh, probably some market stalls over here. Um, so it's it's a lot of this is going to go apart anyway. And then over here, I was thinking this is where we could put like the, the horse testing area. Since it's going to be, see how the walls are kind of very thin. We have a very thin area over here. So we could do like, uh, you know, a path going through. And then we can do the horse testing grounds. Uh, on either side maybe i also found turtles over here which is really sweet so i luckily luckily i had um name tags on me uh, so i ended up naming them donatella because what i was what i wanted to do i was actually looking for specific animals so i took the on the other side over here i have an anvil and i had taken that anvil with me specifically to look for uh animals thank goodness i found them so i ended up really quickly before they despawned there we go i have uh Donatello and Raphael, my two favorite Ninja Turtles. Let's see who this one is. Which one is this? Is that a different one? Oh, that would be awesome. Uh, yeah, I don't see the name tag on it, so it's not one of those. But there is... Oh, uh, that's cool. So now we, we have a couple more over here. But anyway, this is where I found them. So, um, yeah, we have Donatello and Raphael. Don't even come at me with your Leonardo or or uh, Michelangelo. No way. Donatello was the brains of the operation, and Raphael was just cool as heck. At least in the the old school one that I grew up in in the 80s. I don't know about the new one. Okay, so what I want to do today is I want to do I want to build a blacksmith. Very very simple. You know, it's going to be a nice straight to the point episode, and then next episode right over here somewhere in this area here. I want to build a uh, a watchtower with it's important with a uh, a nether portal, so that should be cool. If my voice sounds a little weird today, my allergies are just still off the charge, charge, charts. Um, it's really really bad. I'm recording this right now. It's May seventeenth when I'm recording this. I don't know how many months or how many weeks from now this is going to come out, but it's still very bad allergy season. All right, so we're gonna do build it right here today. Uh, I hope I have room. Because of this right here, I actually may not have room. Huh. I didn't even think about that. I, I want to give a little bit of space in between. So, let's see. What do we want? One, two, three, four, five. I, I don't know if I have room for this. Shoot. That is going to throw off my plan. All right, so over there is definitely not going to work. So the plan that I have in mind is going to be this big. It's going to be 21 across and 10 deep. I could do it here where I was going to build my watchtower, and I can end up moving the watchtower into that spot over there. But how do I feel? Like, you're going to come right out of the dock. And boom, something is going to be right here. I mean, there's still going to be room to maneuver by. I don't know. I don't know. Although it might be good because I didn't want it to be such a perfect, like, like this. I ended up, you know, doing this a little too straight. I kind of wish I, like, these three are fine. But even these, I wish they would, I wish I would have wrapped them around this way instead of moving it. I could always move it. Uh, but then I'd have to move the wall and that's, that's just a lot. So that's probably uh that's probably set but i could do it here i mean what's the worst that happens i i build it and then i take it down because i don't like it i really think that's the only way to do it because over there i have plans already is there enough room in between here is there too much room 
in between here? What is, let's see, what is the room over here? So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we have a block. And then what do we got here? The furthest block is this one. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so it's one less. Because that's a gap of eight, that one's a gap of seven, and then a block. I don't know. Is this too... I don't think it's too close. I think it'll be okay. I guess I'm just... This part right here is what I'm most worried about. This little gap. I'm okay with all of this spacing. I'm okay with that spacing. Uh, the spacing for next to the lake here is fine. Because this, this is not actually where the... I'm going to build that out of oak and... and cobblestone um this is not where the oak is going to be this is more like plant so it's going to be probably about here ish and the same thing for this like about here ish and this will be like plant. so that's not that's not terrible all right time to let's just go gather some supplies and then we'll just uh we'll just start building all right so i have as much oak as i can as I can find in my base right now. So I have two full stacks. I ended up finding some planks and some things. So hopefully that's going to be enough. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three. All right, that should be good. And then this one comes up two. Okay, it goes over one, two. And this one comes up three. One, two, three. It goes over two. And then this one comes up. One, two, three, four. Yeah, this is not going to be bad at all. Because we'll actually end up... It'll appear like we have this much space over here. We're going to put some stuff here. But it'll it'll look... It won't look as bulky as I thought. Okay, I'm happy with that. Alright, yeah, that's that's our base. The base for the, the build. I like that. Okay, we'll come in here. we got to make some... Uh, oak fences. I think I need some more. I don't know if I'm going to have enough. Wait, what did I just make? Yeah, I need sticks. I need more sticks. I don't know if I'm going to have enough, actually. Oh, wait. You know what? I still have a whole stack. That's right. Okay, we should be okay. Oh, sun is going down, big guy. Sun's getting real low. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two here. One, two here. I think what we're going to do is we're going to put those there. Those there. One here, one here. One here, one here. And then I got this, by the way, from a mob. I, didn't, I, didn't, I would never create a golden pickaxe. Okay, so from here here like so and I think I'm gonna do these underneath and I'm actually gonna make uh, the glass I'm gonna do panes instead but I, I gotta sleep yeah I think the panes look better there especially with these being um, st stairs and not full blocks so then on the sides I'll just go one one and then I'll do two panes like that uh, and I guess I'll just run regular. No, let's do stairs here too, right? Why not? Yeah, we'll do stairs there like that. And then we'll do, let's see. We'll go, we'll do the same thing on this side. And I'll do the same thing on the back as well. So that's what I'll do. All right, so I'm going to come in here like this. Put those two there. I'm going to take some trap doors, put them here. Even across the front of the window. Gonna put uh, this on top if I can actually get it. There we go. Okay. Oh, and then I'm gonna run this across the top here. Uh, I'll eventually put like a an item frame. Okay. So that's like the base. Oh, and that that's like the basic outline of what I'm gonna do. And actually, on the side here. I think I'm going to change, yeah, I'm going to change these two to be solid. So I need more, but I'm going to change, I think I have an X, yeah, I do. I'm going to change these two right here 
to be solid. Uh, I did the whole inside, by the way. I got rid of everything that was there, and I put cobble, as you can see. So we'll do here and here. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And then I'm going to end up doing water because we're going to do some, uh, some dirt outside. We're going to till it. We're going to put some, uh, some seeds down. Yeah, that'll look good. So we can put it right, where is it? Yeah, right here. So put some seeds and then we'll end up tilling this. Okay, and then I guess we can come up. Do I have any more? Oh, I don't have any more. I need I need some fences. All right, so I did the front. I didn't obviously put the seeds in yet, but I want to show you how uh, I just set up the underneath. I'm sure you all can figure it out, but I put one water there. And then just to make sure when you till the land, the uh, you know how like it, when you till it, it goes, drops down a little bit. I wanted to make sure there was wood under there. So it would, it would be consistent. So that's why I put... So again, we put that there. Okay, oops. Do I not have any more wood? No, I need more wood. I got turned around. So yeah, so I just put that underneath. And then obviously I tilled uh, the side. And then what I'm going to do for the sides here... So I'm going to do this. We're going to go one, two. One, two. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing. And then we can start building the top. All right, so... I'm going to put that there... Um, what can I do here? Face this out this way. We'll go that way with that. So we'll go there and there. All right. We'll face, we'll flare that out. I'm going to flare out the sides. Okay. We'll put that there. And then I guess we'll do this here. This here. And then one more out in the middle as well. Yeah, that looks cool. And then we can go here and here on the sides, right? Oh, I can't do that yet. And then, oh, perfect. I have four of these, which is exactly what I think I need. Yeah, and then two more on the other side. All right, we'll come put that there. And then I guess we'll come out one more here and here as well. Yeah, so far that's looking good. All right, then I'm, I think I'm gonna just put these here. So we'll run this across. I'll have it. I'll have it different on the sides. I'm actually gonna end up putting the cobble here. Whereas you notice for like the sides here, I have the um, the oak actually on top. But I'm gonna flare that out just a bit. Okay, we're just gonna run all of this here again. We'll put these on top. Oh, I still have to add the one more over there, but that's okay that boom 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 okay let's go ahead and put this where i have to i think oh and then i'm also going to add do i have enough no i need more trap doors all right so i just i just brought the slabs out on each side and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to put some oak leaves here and here and then i'm going to kind of just break these and let's try this pattern see how that works Oh, I like that a lot. Okay, we'll keep that. All right, so now we're going to do, uh, if you guys have ever watched any of my tutorials, I do a lot of this little thing on a corner. I don't know why. I like it. It's kind of like my, my classic go-to design for the corners. I just think it looks really good. I think it adds a lot of uh, a lot of like, definition to a structure, and it makes it kind of feel more alive in the world. In my opinion, that's just obviously my opinion. I kind of like the way that is right there too. So, yeah, we have that. And now all we gotta do is just do the top, which I think I need one more. I'm gonna turn it in this way. I need one more, um, one more stair. But for now, we can do. Yeah, we'll do regular. We'll do regular cobblestone here because it just kind of needs to pop out, right? And then I guess we'll, I'll go back and I'll add other stuff to it. Hold on. So we'll do this right now. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm going to have to go add some stairs. I do have to make one more of the, um, 
oak stairs. I just need one. Obviously, I'm going to have to take whatever they give me, but uh, I can even plant one of these seeds just to free up my inventory a little bit. And then we will, or I will, I should say, come in here, take some of these cobblestone stairs. Oh, I already had some. Derp. Uh, can I get on top still? Oh, one thing I need to do is add, yeah, tops to those. Make sure I do it to the other side. Oh, this is looking so good. Okay, like that. Come up here. Whoops, come up here. <laughs> Try that again. Come up here. And then we'll add stairs here. 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 I do have to put the oak right there. So far, so good. Okay, we'll add them again here, here, here. And then what I actually want is I'm going to put, I actually want to put campfires in here. So I think what I'll end up doing, you know what, let's not put it, I'm trying to think, maybe I shouldn't put it that way. I think the campfires will go there, so maybe we'll do here and here. Here. Yeah, that might, this might, this might look good. Let's see, I just need to go get some campfires now. And then we'll fill this up with campfire. So we'll have it smoking, since it is a blacksmith. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, I like that a lot. How do I make a campfire again? I know I made one because I have one in, where is it? In that that building that right there. You can see it coming out. But I forget. And it, our, our, our outside is done -zo. So one there. And one there. Yeah, that looks good. That looks really good. All right. I'm going to get some seeds. And then actually what I'm going to do inside. Oh, we don't need this. And then actually what I'm going to do inside, I think I'm only going to leave a space of two. So we'll go like one, two, three, put a fence gate. And I'm going to do the opposite on this side. So I'm like I'm not going to keep it lined up. So we're going to go one, two, three, fence gate. I don't know. Here and here we'll do. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Let me uh, let me decorate the inside of this. All right. So I had everything. Enough, I, I had enough iron to make a blast furnace. I already had the smooth stone made. Now, all I need is the bucket because I have the cauldron right here. I just made a cauldron. So we need the bucket of lava. So we're going to go down to our second mine, which is my diamond mine, which uh, I was not getting any diamonds at all at regular 11, like at all. So ever since, I guess, 117, they changed where diamonds were. I, must, I mined easily... 15,000 blocks up there. I know this because I watched an entire, the entire series uh, community, which is like my fifth or sixth playthrough of the whole series. I watched the entire thing while I mined. So this is my new mine. Uh, but there is actually lava. It's up here. It's actually, it's up here. Yeah, right there. Boom. Okay. So we got lava. This is the lava level I found. So I just started mining a one above it, which is actually, I'll see how it's negative 64. Negative 64 would be, I think, the lowest. So I just went negative, I just went 11 higher than that. So I think they just changed the 11s out. Instead of it being 11, now you got to go 11 more than the lowest, which would be negative 53. You know what's funny? There's only two torches on the inside, and look how much it lights up everything. I have one torch here, one torch here. And that's it. And it lights up everything. I'm just going to walk right by this spider. I don't know why he's not attacking me, but I won't complain. All right, so here's what I did. I ended up adding some stairs there and there. And then I kind of, you know, made a little design in the middle. Just so it's not, like, blocky and ugly. And then what I'm going to do is I guess we'll do a blast furnace and a smoker on this side. On this side, we'll do a regular furnace and a cauldron filled with lava. Okay. And that is done. And then what I'm going to end up doing is actually putting some item frames here and here. 
on both sides with some tools. Uh, let me do that now. Okay, so I ended up actually changing one thing around. Instead of putting the furnace here, we obviously have an anvil because it is a blacksmith. Okay. Uh, I probably should have put water next to it for the quench. But I like this. I like this effect uh, better. And then we got some... Um, all the iron tools. And then on the outside, we got the iron sword to show that it's a blacksmith. Uh, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with how it came out. So let's just take a little walk down. See if it fits. Yeah, it looks really, really good. And like I said on the side, it's going to feel more open because this is the part that was the right here when I said it was 21 across. It was from right here to here. So this is where I originally had that dirt. So I, I said it was going to feel more open, and it definitely does. So we have plenty of room to walk around. You come up, and you got yourself a blacksmith right here. Uh, I'm totally digging this. I'm really happy. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments, right? Until next time, Captain Obvious out. Peace.